Hey guys, what's up people? Welcome to the session. I hope that all of you guys are doing good. So yes, people. Yes, 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 yes. Let's answer that question. What next? Because a lot of you guys right now, especially people moving who are, who are in 10th standard right now, whose uh, board exams apparently got cancelled. And as you guys know, CBSC has also come up with the objective criteria. So now you, guys, uh, now you know for a fact that whether, you know, uh, what you have learnt in the past, is it something that you'll have to remember for a couple of more months or you'll have to revise it once again? Because, you, you know, uh, maybe you would have not performed so well in your school exams and you might have to uh, take you, you have have the idea of taking the test up again or if you are happy with what your performance was then it's okay you can move on to your next grade so whatever it is guys whether it's uh you know it's now or whether it's six months from now whatever it is your next step has to be properly well planned because obviously you can't take back your steps right so we're going to talk about that guys what next after 10th now this goes for all the people who are currently in 10th standard as well so that you also get an idea so that you know it's, it's always good to have a goal it's always good to have an aim rather than just walking around blindly listening to uh, all your friends and stuff and then just studying for the sake of marks but rather if you have a proper plan then you would actually study according to that right so that's what we're going to talk about my name is Anup and a very warm welcome to Vitan tonight the 10th English channel and before we get started do not forget to subscribe to the channel do not forget to hit the like button do not forget to share the video with all your friends so that they also make the best out of it so yes guys let's answer that what what next what are the options that you guys have let me tell you this guys it's not just science right now a lot of you guys have this ideology that after 10 there's only one option that is science but that is not actually the case guys you also have arts and commerce now None of these fields are any less from each other. So please remove that thought from your head that science is superior and all the others are inferior. It's never the case, all right? All of these are equally good respective, you know, irrespective of what you do or whichever field you choose. As long as you're good at your field, no matter which field you choose, it does not matter. You must be the best at it. That is all you have to care about, right? So you have arts, you have science, you have commerce. Now, in this, you have different options. You have, for for example, in arts, you have something called HABA, uh, SEBA, that is SEBA. Lots and lots of options are there like that. And in science, you have PCM, BPCM, CPCME. In commerce, also, you have other options. You know, now if you want to study accountancy or you want to study something else. So there are lots and lots of options that you have out there. Now, Majority of the schools, that is 11th and 12th CBSE board I'm talking about over here, they would be having pretty much all of these. Now, it's not necessary that they have all the branches. Some schools might not have all the branches. They might have only a couple of uh, main branches and the other specialized ones could be a different school altogether. So look for what you want. So don't have this ideology that it's only arts, it's only science, it's only science, no. Arts are another option. Again, it depends on what is your interest. So choose wisely. There's no need for you to fall under pressure. There's no need for you to think that your friend is doing that so that I know I should also do it because trust me guys, even I've done the same mistake, you know, listening to your, listening to your friends. So don't do that. Don't do that because what you are, what makes you special, what makes you you is different from what makes your friend him. Right. So please don't don't compare. Don't follow. Uh, you know, there's the same. Right. Don't follow like a sheep. Don't do that. Whatever is your interest, understand that first. Ask yourself, what is your true interest? What is it that you want to do? Because asking that question is the biggest of them all. Understanding that, answering that question, giving yourself that satisfaction that you have chosen it, that is something that you must consider, right? So you have arts, commerce, and science, guys. Lots and lots of our options. Now, again, I'm not getting into the specifications of these because all these different branches are different from one another. The thing is this, guys, because every school is different. Every school follows different, uh, this thing. 
you know some like i told you some of them might have pcmc and only p uh, and pcme they might not have pcme some might have pcme they might not have pcmh so there are lots and lots of options like this so what is pcmc is nothing but physics chemistry uh, you know math these three are common apart from that the last one is basically optional either you can go with biology or computer science or uh, you know electronics or home science there are lots and lots and lots of options guys lots and lots of options and in arts also you have lots of options you have you know you have uh would say you have uh, you know literature you have uh would say you have uh tons and tons of options economic so many so many options are there in arts as well in commerce also you have accountancy and all of that so after that also see it's see again guys these fields the ones that you choose after 10th will determine what are your possibilities after 12th as well so keep that in mind when you're taking when you're choosing it all right because for example if let's say that you choose commerce let's say you choose arts or commerce then the chances of you getting into engineering is very less right because obviously they don't accept uh you know if you're not from a science background uh then they don't accept students into engineering or medical so you have to think about that as well so what is your aim that's why i'm asking you what is you what are you what is it that you want ask that that is the first thing that you have to get an answer to so once you get the answer for that everything else is laid out so right then then you can make a wise choice then you can you know start weighing the pros and cons and then you know make the make a sound decision so again guys if you don't choose the arts again you have lots and lots of options over there also uh you can you know do bcom and then M mcom and again in commerce also you have b i would say uh you can do uh what is it again you can do bcom and then mcom and different different things again then you can do mba so lots and lots of options again i'm telling you that so once again i'm going to stress that always follow your interest what is your passion what makes you tick maybe maybe you're someone who's interested in literature then there's no point in forcing yourself to get into science because eventually what's going to happen is that you'll start hating you know uh, all the people that that made you do it and that would happen guys because what i want you guys to do is this whether you take my advice or not is this what i want what i truly expect is none of you guys should ever have any regret in life and that is one thing that i would be proud of if you know none of you guys have any regret so that is what i'm trying to do here guys i'm telling you people that to have no regret you must take some time off from whatever you're doing right now and think what is it that you really want all right and once you have an answer for that question then choose your next step all right so please it's a humble request from my side don't rush into anything don't choose a particular stream just because of your friends or because your parents are forcing you i know that a lot of your parents will be telling you just take science itself it is not necessary that you have to take only science itself guys let me tell you that much let me tell you that much it is no less arts and commerce are no less everything again if you are at the top of your field every field is good every field is good there's no there's no compare there's no need for you to compare now again if your parents are forcing you to get into science get into science get into science sit with them rather than shouting at them rather than telling them why you not able to understand me and all sit with them and help them make you help them understand it you talk to them talk to them because obviously guys they are your parents right and they would they want the best for you that's all they don't they don't care about anything else they want the best for you they're doing everything they're turning their blood into sweat so that you would have the best life right and it's definitely not safe out there and still your parents are taking up that risk so that they're giving you the best of the best there is right the whole reason that you're sitting here and watching the session is because yeah your parents decided that yes my son or daughter needs a laptop or a phone so this is my advice sit with them talk to them because they will listen if you talk to them in a way that they understand you tell them tell them very openly what are your fears what is the thing that what is holding you back tell them your inhibitions tell them what you are afraid of and once you do that trust me guys no matter which parent it is no matter how you know stubborn they might be they will always listen to you all right because all they want is for you to have a good life right so 
this is all i can say all right people so yes guys once again i know that you know uh, i'm not getting into every single uh, what to say look in corner and you know telling you what are the things that you have because like i told you guys every schools have different uh, you know what to say um, streams and for me to just tell that you have only these streams or these are the things that you have to look forward that's definitely not going to be right so what i want you guys to do is do an extensive research by yourself i'm pretty sure that since you guys uh, you know are in your face right now that where you know you can move to 11th and 12th you can obviously you know go to colleges visit colleges not right now obviously but at least on websites you know visit the college websites and check out what are the courses that they are offering all right and then once you get the uh, get those courses see uh, check out on the internet like what are the what are the possibilities that you have like because obviously guys i'm talking about 6 7 years from now right you're in 10th right now two more years and then three more years maybe and then maybe you might do another two more years of uh, you know post education so that's 5 plus 2 that's almost 7 years from now right so it's a long time so whatever choice you make today it's going to impact the rest of your life please understand that whatever choice that you make today is going to impact the rest of your life because i know what it is i know what it is that is what i'm telling you guys i know that that feeling of regret that you have sometimes when you make a bad choice and i've done it that's what i'm telling you from the bottom of my heart that i don't want any of you guys to do the same mistake that i have done none of you guys should do what i've done right and that is why that is what i'm telling you very openly guys If you need any advice, you can always email me, and I'll try to reach out to you guys. So yes, guys, this is what I would like to say. Follow your interest. Get the best available education and training. Set your sights high. Be persistent. Be flexible. Keep your options open. Accept help when offered, and be prepared to help others. So yes, guys, there's no shame in asking for help. Don't give up. And always 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 keep an open mind all right look for opportunities look for possibilities because trust me there are tons and tons of opportunities now if your aim is just to get a good job make money there are lots of ways to do that if you have a true passion for something that you know you really want to you know get into something and you want to do some research stuff there's a way for that so please understand that there are lots of opportunities lots of options out there keep an open mind see what is what understand what are the pros and cons and then make a sound choice all right so once again guys you have three main options arts commerce and science after 10th right and each of these would lead you to a different way of life all right and that is very plain and simple each of these would be you know put you into a different form of life now it's not necessary that you can't jump stream in between you can do that but again why do you want to do that right so from now itself i know you're young i know i know you guys are still young but it's always good to have a proper clear image of where you want to more want to be in the next 10 years or so so keep that in mind all right whatever is your aim ask yourself that so to truly choose what stream you want you must ask yourself this question what do i want in life all right once you get the answer for that everything else will fall in its place all right so yes people that's what i would like to say and yes we are all here for you guys and if you want to join us and be a part of us and you know get our support and help apart from the youtube channel you can also enroll into the vidantu pro subscription courses that are given in the description right below these courses trust me guys you will be getting the best of the best teachers the best of the best academic mentors to help you guys to nurture you to make sure that you reach where you have to again there's no shame in asking for help we are here to help you guys all you have to do is click on the link and i'll see you guys in the regular sessions so let me tell you the advantages very very quickly you have unlimited sessions you guys already know that you'll have lots and lots of quizzes and these quizzes will also help you to you know compete with your friends and give you an idea of what topics you're good at and what topics you're bad at 
with this you can also download the recordings not download it you can see the recordings and while watching the recordings also you can take the quizzes and check out the leaderboards and yes you can download all the notes and all the you know uh what to say all the handwritten notes all the things is clearly plain and simple you can download it and watch it and with this you also have the opportunity to get your notes cleared inside the session itself because you don't have just one teacher but rather you'll have a pair of two teachers the master teacher and the class teacher to ensure that all of your doubts are cleared right there and then unlimited doubt solving and real time doubt solving doubt solving you can get your doubts cleared outside the class as well inside the class as well and yes you'll have tests and assignments obviously you'll have tests and assignments as well because there's it's never complete without practice right so yes you'll have tests and assignments as well which will give you a better idea of what are the kind of questions that you can expect in your boards or your pre boards and stuff right so the link is given in the description and the coupon code is also already applied all you have to do is click on subscribe to vedanta pro right now i believe i have uh, i think the link is open unfortunately not unfortunately it is not open but anyways guys you can just click on the link that is given in the description you can check it out it's uh, it's like subscribe to vidantu pro right now subscribe subscribe to vidantu pro to vidantu pro so you can check it out over there you have three different options vidantu pro vidantu lite and vidantu uh or to say a uh, classic as well so you can check out whichever course you want and enroll accordingly you have different advantages and disadvantages of that way again see what's best for you what works for you and choose accordingly all right so yes guys these are the prices so if you go for the one month program that is for people moving from 9th to 10th standard or anyone who's moving from 10th to 11th also you can check that out as well for je and neat also there are sessions going on so you can check that out so yes guys the one month program would be around 2600 rupees but a coupon code is already applied to it so that means the price would drop down to 2340 rupees and if you go for the year long program that's 30499 again the coupon code is already applied so it'll drop down to 27449 now if you think about it in terms of value for money you're actually getting a lots of value lot of value in fact in that one month duration you'd have attended roughly about 200 to 300 sessions which means that per session you're just paying about 11.7 rupees and for the year long program it's a little, a little more lesser with about 11.43 rupees which is less than a packet of good grade right so link is given in the description these are all the dates that the v pro bachelor is starting for cbse 9th as well as 10th 26th of april is the start date for icc 9th as well as 10th it's 24th of may the start date maharashtra 24th of may and j 26th april and neat 26th of april so again guys for j as well as neat batches it has just started it has just started but again you have not missed much because the last couple of days has been uh, you know our uh, holidays so don't worry about it you don't you know you don't have to worry at all and if you talk about if you want any new batches if you want to start all over from the very first you can also wait for the next batch for cbse i think the next batch is going to start from 10th of may as well there's a new batch starting for uh, even for 10th standard for cbse you can check the dates out in the description all right one link is going to do all your job all right so yes people thanks a lot for joining i'll see you guys in the next one until the next time we meet this is on this is Batman signing off cuz I'm Batman good day people have a great evening and see you guys soon take care